All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to display um, a message on the screen using JavaScript. And we will start off with the file that we left with in our CSS tutorial, but we're just going to change it to um, hyphen JavaScript page instead of hyphen JS, and we'll change our title and our H1 to reflect those updates. We can leave our CSS in there so that if we were to look at it in the browser, it should look just like the CSS one, except um, have JS written there. So as we talked about, there are two places that we could add JavaScript, either at the head or after the body. And we'll start off just putting it at the head and seeing what happens. And the first function that we learned was just the alert function. Hey, you. Now, Technically, semicolons are optional in JavaScript, but because many of the other languages that we use, including Java and PHP, which we'll do next, um, require the semicolons, we're going to go ahead and leave them in. But um, stylistically, if you feel like leaving them out and you're typing a lot of JavaScript, it can be technically okay to do that. So let's save this and refresh our page in the browser. And notice that this pops up saying JavaScript application, hey -o, okay. A few things to notice about this one are what is this title up here. Um, we're not going to get in at this point to being able to change that. And also the actual look of this, how it's um, blue and has the red X and this button here and this even this um, exclamation point in yellow triangle are all part of the Windows operating system and not things that we can easily change or change at all with JavaScript. So using the alert function, all that we could really control at this point is the text that appears there. Now notice that because we put our script above the actual body of the page, that nothing will happen below this until we click on that OK button. So at this point, none of our body or anything has run at all. But once we click OK, the rest of the page will load. If we come back into our code and we control X to cut this out and we paste it instead after our body tag at the bottom, what will happen is the whole page will load and then our JavaScript message will come up. So let's do this from a fresh fresh screen so that we could see the effect. And we have an untitled page. I'll hit Control O to open. I'll go to my JavaScript page. Click OK. And notice that it loads and then the message displayed. So this is the opposite of what we had earlier. And really, this is probably the effect that we want because we want our page to show up and then the message to pop up. So we're, we're on our way to having a pretty good JavaScript right now. All that we're going to do next is we're going to change it to have a variable display. So we'll say var message is equal to Hey yo! And notice that just like in Java and our other programming language, we're wrapping our strings inside of quotation marks. However, unlike in Java, we do not say string, int, boolean, etc. We could just say var. So what that is telling us is that it, unlike in Java where we have to declare what type of variable it is, all we have to say in JavaScript is that it is in fact a variable. And then inside of the alert, we'll put message. Now, look what happens when we put message inside of quotation marks, just like we said heyo before. When I refresh my page, it's going to literally display the word message. However, if I remove those quotation marks, instead of displaying the word message, it will display the variable message, which is set to be heyo. So, very cool. Now, this is a pretty good job, but what we want to do to make it a bit more advanced is we're going to set a variable called user message, and we're going to use a tag called the prompt tag, or a function called the prompt function to say, enter in a message. And if we wanted to, we could set a default message 
inside of here, but we're going to leave the second parameter blank because we just want to have them enter a message and not have a default value already set for them. And instead of displaying our hard-coded message, we're going to display our user message here once we get it. So let's go ahead and look at how this looks in the browser. Notice that when we refresh the page, it opens up a prompt box. It looks very similar to the alert one, except it's saying enter in a message. So when I say my message, and I click OK, it's then going to take that variable and pop it up. So what we have here is some very basic JavaScript, but it's actually doing some advanced stuff. Does it look cool and super awesome? You bet. Could it look even more cooler and super awesome and -er? Yes, it could. But we will stop here with what we have so far.